Hello friends and welcome to a new video. My name is Nikon and every week on this channel I talk about filmmaking, DaVinci Resolve and how to be more productive, more consistent and more efficient making videos for YouTube. Today I'm going to share with you what are my best settings to export a video for YouTube in DaVinci Resolve 18.5. Let's go. So we are in DaVinci Resolve right now. Our project is finished. Very nice, very cool promo, B-roll, whatever it is. You finished your project in DaVinci Resolve. You are very happy. You are a happy bunny. You are ready to export your project, but you don't know what the settings to use. No problem. You have a lot of settings here to export your uh, project in. So let me have a look here what we've got. We've got ProRes 422. We have H.265, H.264. What the heck is that? Anyway, there are a lot of codecs here. But what you need to do for YouTube, most of the time you will have to use H.265. That's what they say, QuickTime H.265 for YouTube. But it's not the same quality. Um, H.265 is a good codec because for internet, because what it does, it actually it waits much less than a H.264 video master. But what I recommend you to do, if it's a good video and you care about it, then I recommend you to export your video in H.264 master. That's what I do. Uh, QuickTime um, um, in uh, whatever, how many frames per second you want to do it. Let's say you shot your video in 1920 by 1080, which is full HD, but you want to export it in 4K, you can actually export in 4K, even if you shot in 1080p. Uh, yeah, there, there is a, a DaVinci Resolve will, will sort of make magic, will, will, will make some miracles, and you won't even see the difference between like, 2K or 1080p and uh, 4K. Um, so some people do that. Uh, well, I don't know if it's recommended or not. I mean, for YouTube, probably you won't see the difference. Uh, but if you want to do that, then no problem. Anyway, my best settings for exporting a uh, YouTube video is H.264 because it has a better quality than the H.265 um, uh, codec. If you put them side by side, honestly, you won't be able to see much difference. But if you weight them H.264 are going to be probably two gigs, whether the H.265 are going to be one gig for almost the same quality. But I mean, I don't really care about how much it weights because I put it on YouTube anyway. Let the YouTube machines convert that good quality video in a much lower, but if you put a less poor, like a poor quality video, the YouTube will have to render it anyway, and it's gonna be a, a less quality, isn't it? That's my thinking. Anyway, so H.264, um, let's say B-roll, and then I uh, do it on desktop, uh, QuickTime, you can do actually mp4 if you really want to i wouldn't bother too much about mp4 and mov uh, just choose whatever it's works for you better if you're on a windows machine probably mp4 is is better for you if you are on a apple probably a quick time is a better option for you um uh, advanced settings um if you're using um um let's say a proxies make sure that you see this is not toggled on because it's going to be using your proxy media but then no, normally DaVinci Resolve is smart enough to export um, your video with the original media not using the proxies even if you're using the proxies but anyway just make sure this is all toggled off and only let the bypass ring code when possible um, the rest is fine don't don't bother about anything else just go to render queue select it and then render and this is a such such a short um, timeline and it's going to be done in no time um, to be honest but i mean don't, i don't even want to show you the difference between h264 and h265 but i will render it anyway just to to show you the difference in um, how many uh, megabytes one has compared to the other uh, and if I go to my finder 
and I go to desktop where I, you see, one has 35, um, the H.265 has 35 megabytes and H.264 has 67. It's, it's, pro it's, it's double the quality. This is H.264. I mean, honestly, I don't think you will see the difference. I mean, it's impossible. I've never, I couldn't tell the difference. And this is H.265. Like, really? There's no difference at all. I mean, especially on this, on YouTube, because I mean, the YouTube will have to re-encode the video anyway. It's it's quite incredible. It really is. Um, so you see, this only weighs 35 megabytes compared to the H.264, which weighs 67. It's absolutely incredible. So basically, I mean. What I normally do if I'm out and about and I want to upload a video uh, on my uh, cellular data, uh, I will export in H.265 to save my data. But if I'm at home and I'm using Wi-Fi, I'm always exporting in H.264. That's my reasoning. <laughs> I don't know if it's right or wrong that this is how I do it. And this is it, friends. These are my best export settings for YouTube videos. I know if you're doing a short film, if you're doing some creative work, if you're doing anything else, maybe these settings won't work for you and I don't recommend them for you. But if you're uploading YouTube videos, tutorials and like things like this, then no problem. These are the best settings and they work for me and I'm sure they will work for you. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got some value out of it. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and I will see you, definitely I'll see you in the next one. Happy creation. Bye-bye.